Hey guys, this is Jason. It's been a while since one of my last video updates. Well, I've had some stuff going on. I've changed professions and I've been building man cave, all kinds of boring stuff that you don't want to hear about. But I'm back. I'm back with something a little different. Uh, rather than doing one of the raving reviews or one of the how-tos, I'm going to be doing my first build log. Now, Back, I'd say six, maybe seven years ago, my mom went and bought a 1957 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. It was a run and driving car, clean title, and it was bought pretty cheap. And there was a reason for this. When Katrina hit, a tree fell and bashed the top of this car in. I've got some pictures that I'm fixing to post in on there. You'll see what it looked like. The top got bashed in. So, we decided to take it to a local body shop and have them fix the top. Well, that turned into a uh, bit of an issue. Uh, he wanted insurance a lot more than he wanted to work on this. He said it'd take two weeks and then it came two months and then he said it'd be six months and then eventually he said, you know what, it's going to be whenever I get it done. So he said, look, just give us the car back, we'll fix it. We got the car back, got all that taken care of. My dad started working on it. Now something to know about my dad is he is a perfectionist. And I mean he wants a show car. Uh, but show cars take time. So he was working on this car and blah 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 blah. Get the top fixed on it. And then we went and got my mom a Christmas present. Her Christmas present was a 1964 Thunderbird convertible. It's her favorite car. She's never owned one. It is sitting right over there and you can see the car it's been primed and ready to go so once we got that car he stopped work on this well it's been sitting now for four or five years and again this was a running driving car it's been sitting like this for a while and my mom is getting restless she wants it fixed and all that so my particular specialty is the wham bam thank you ma'am job that means I come in, I get it going, I get it going fast. It ain't going to be perfect, but it's going to be at least driver quality. So that's what I'm going to be doing on this in the next few weeks. I'm hoping to have it painted and back together in six weeks. May make that, may may not. Who knows? But anyway, let's take you around the car. So... My dad had painted the trunk originally. It didn't come out that great. We weren't real happy with it, so I'm gonna be taking that back down. <sighs> One of the uh, issues here is this chrome piece, which is absolutely impossible to find. So I might have to rig something or delete it entirely. I haven't decided yet. In addition to being a perfectionist, my dad is also a bit of a slob when it comes to his work area. So he's been using it as a shelf. He had stuff like this. and. You can see the top is far better than it was in the pics that I just showed you. Yeah, all this was bashed in and everything. The door is off and over in the corner, but it's already been repaired. And all the Bondo work's been done on it. You can see the inside, the steering wheel's kind of disgusting, and there's parts and storage and pretty much everything else in here. Uh, that's what we had to do to the top to reinforce it with tack welded on strips. I'm gonna be sanding that back down and priming it get all the surface rust off from it so the windshield area there was uh, rust in here that's all been welded back up and then pour 15 stop any future rust on it there the rest of the body is not in too bad a shape I got all the glass it's up there with 64 t-bird parts as well uh, feel around here find the hood latch okay uh, Cadillac 365 again you throw a battery on this thing it should start up transmission shifts fine on it AC was non-functional which is something we're gonna have to fix but the motor is allegedly still in running shape so I had antifreeze and oil in it and it's been sitting so shouldn't have any issues there this should be just the uh, cosmetics and we can 
go up here and look down the car. It's pretty much rust free. There was some rusting going on in here that's been repaired already. Just needs to be sanded back smooth and whatnot. We got some surface rust here. The brakes were giving some issues when we were driving this thing. The rears were overheating and it in fact melted this cap on the other side. You can see it's cracked to this one, so we're gonna have to do something about that. Uh, then my David Freiberger-esque list here going on. Basically, it's chrome removal, sanding, painting, priming, finishing the top, fixing the brakes, interior, the heater core is bad. I need to inspect the wiring, clean out the gas tank, just basic, basic stuff. But I'm gonna be trying to, I won't be taking you through the whole process because it's gonna be a lot of uh, sanding, cussing, and all that, but I'm gonna be trying to post up daily or weekly build logs on this thing show you what I've done and all that. So, that's where we're gonna be. I just wanted to give y'all updates on that. And I don't know, this might be a fun project to follow. So, uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thanks. And if you're new, also thanks. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so we are officially on day one of the Pink Lady Project. Clothes have changed, but that was yesterday on the introduction, and thanks to the magic of uh, time lapse or whatever you want to call it, it's the next day. I played golf yesterday, so today what we're going to have to do on this car is we're going to have to clean up basically the inside and around the car, get all my dad's stuff out of it, and then we're going to start taking the chrome pieces off of it, which. Old chrome is delicate, so we're going to have to use WD-40 liberally. We have to be very, very careful, bag and tag all this stuff so I don't lose it. And then start in on the sanding process. Now, this paint is old. It's probably had a restoration sometime in the 80s, and it is thick. It's going to take a lot of DA work and a lot of sandpaper to go through this car to get it done. It's not as bad as that 64 t bird was, but it's still pretty bad. So that's the update. I'm going to start taking some stuff off. I can't film all of this. I don't have the memory card space or battery life for doing it. But I'll start updating you as we go on here. So thanks for watching and stay tuned. So yeah, if y'all would like an idea how long this project has been sitting, that used to be a kitchen glove. Don't look like a kitchen glove anymore now, does it? That did too. So yeah, kitchen glove long enough to melt. So anyway, in here I have picked up all of the parts that were just scattered loose, all the tools that were scattered loose, put them in boxes and labeled them, and now I'm gonna come along with my handy dandy shop vac over there. Now I'm gonna vacuum all this out and start eyeballing what it takes to take the chrome off. All right, so I've gone over with a towel and the airbrush and the, uh, Vacuum and all that, no real surprises that I'm aware of. There's, it's hard to see, but there's a little bit of bubbling there. I don't know if it's rust or what. We'll find that whenever we start sanding. Uh, you can see the exact moment when my dad stopped bondoing. It's right in there. He stopped sanding. This top's gonna need a little more work to even it out. At least as best as possible. Uh, some stuff here that will show up terribly in paint, so that's got to be smoothed out. The inside, you can tell, looks a whole lot better now. Got everything done. There's one minor little rust hole there and this little brother there, so I'm going to clean this area up, see where it goes. Uh, looks like most of my chrome access is in here, so all the interior is already out, so that's not a big deal. Uh, let's see, factory repair job over there, or not factory, but back when she was new. Uh, that's pretty much it. So what you missed is roughly three hours of me tweaking and frying and making faces like, oh, don't break. But I got most of the chrome off. We can show you what's going on here. Uh. There's what a whole lot of Cadillac chrome looks like. Came through here and 
Got that piece and the piece down the side that's gotta be repaired, all the lower chrome. The bumpers are likely gonna stay on and just get taped around. Uh, only a show judge would be looking close. And again, this ain't gonna be a show car. The Cadillac emblem's off. All that. Same thing down this side. So pretty much where I'm at now is we're going on to sanding and finishing out the top. And we'll go into priming so we can officially scratch remove chrome off from our list, which typical my Sharpie ran away. Where'd it go? Let's see, think pin works. No. Uh, anyway, we're officially scratching remove chrome off the list and we'll be back with sanding later tonight and or tomorrow so we're still on day one and we're going into sanding now i hate sanding i hate it with a passion this old enamel crap is like trying to sand through glass you go through a ton of paper and everything i don't have an ideal grip but my dad had a box of 120 over there in his sanding stash so I'm gonna hit it and see what happens. Now I know I've got Bondo somewhere under this paint, so I gotta be real careful on this end. Got my high protection, my breathing protection, and my air protection, my hand protection. I'm doing all of this wonderful stuff. So I'm probably gonna leave you running for a little bit over there so you can watch and listen to the horror that is sanding. DA out and this guy has been abused. I'm shocked it still works. In fact it barely works. But it's probably had a thousand hours on it. It's been abused. There we go. bubbles was not. Looks like it was just the old paint bubbling up underneath. Good. Now I'm not talking to you. And the man, the myth, the legend, the perfectionist who just hates it. See? Look at him. Bye-bye. Yeah, this is why I hate saying it. We're in two minutes and we barely made a dent. I really need better sandpaper, but this will do for now. Ugh, back to it more noise. There'll be a whole lot of time lapse. 
I'm gonna cut you off here. I'll get at this, and when I come back, it'll be a fully sanded quarter panel. Okay, I'm finishing up for the day. The 120 grit just ain't gonna cut it. I gotta go tomorrow and get some 80 grit paper. It's too, it's too much basically. I mean, that paint's too thick. There's too damn many layers. I got four layers of paint I'm having to go through. I got the original, I got original primer, original paint, new primer, new secondary primer, and then new color. The bubbling is not rust related. It's not coming through anywhere. I've brought it down to the original factory paint and it's still there. And then underneath it is just bare metal with no rust. Same thing over here. So that's good news. All I gotta do is take the paint off from it, prime it, reshoot it, everything's good to go. But yeah, I can't, I, I'm just wasting time, air, and patience that I don't have with this 120 grit. It just ain't happening. I gotta get some 80 grit and then I'll start back in on it tomorrow afternoon and I'll update the build log then. Thanks for watching.